Here's what happens when you add fish oil to your sleep apnea. This is the culmination of 20 years of research done by someone else. I didn't do it. Don't have time for that. Uh, but obviously, first make sure you're not putting fish oil into your CPAP in case you were. Uh, I hope I rescued you. But if you are slightly more reasonable and thought about supplementing fish oil to help with sleep apnea, here's the truth. So here's one of the best studies on this. They looked at the omega-3 index, that is like how much omega-3s are in someone's red blood cells, in those with obstructive sleep apnea. And they also looked at, hey, these people, are they taking fish oil? Are they eating fish? What's the correlation there? Now, the really exciting results was that there was no correlation with omega-3 index, omega-3 intake, fish, none of that with obstructive sleep apnea. And here's why I think that is. So we know that omega-3 will decrease inflammation, but in sleep apnea, I think there's way too much inflammation in all the different periphery, so it actually cannot positively impact the airway or the brain. In plain English, omega-3 may reduce other things like heart attacks, strokes, etc., but not so much the breathing part. But what is very clear is that breathing retraining is great for that. So if you want personalized plan, better sleep, better waking up tomorrow, click this button here. Click the shop button, website over my face.